Ostara of the dawn. I have very special channeled messages from Ostara for you today and just in time for spring. I've been feeling this energy for a while and I'm so excited to bring this to you today. I was just meditating out in my yard. It's right before this incredible storm that is coming and I feel all this incredible energy. So today I'm going to let you have the natural ambience of the storm to back this powerful reading. And right now we are in the, we are in the calm of the storm and spring is just springing into abundance here where I live and I'm hoping where you live or even into your life this is going to be a rebirth a renewal this is all about fertility and abundance so this is a cycle of life and these are potentials for growth this all has to do with a, a balance of the light and the dark and that's why I think it's a very incredible to to be able to do this reading for you during this powerful storm that's happening right now we've got tornadic activity and and hail and it's very powerful there's great change I went and meditated out in my backyard before this storm there's great change coming that has to do with this hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Luna I am your Oracle of Starlight I channel messages from Archangel star beings and highest light spirit guides for your greatest good I was sent by the Council of Light and I'm here to get you to your highest timeline that golden timeline so if you're interested in anything like that please go ahead and hit that like share subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading not only does somebody pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly but it helps me to share my light and love of the world for which I am ever so grateful I will have links below if you want a personal reading a link to my manifest frequency channel where I put out frequency music and subliminals to help you manifest your ultimate reality I'll also have links to all the cards and things like that so be sure to check that out down below and I'll have the links below to the pick a card if you want to jump forward to any chapters because today um, since I pulled in the energy of Ostara it was a very powerful experience and I, I would say it's not something to be taken on lightly it, cr it creates great change and it's it's funny but my guides woke me up this morning at 5 55 a.m. it was 5 5 5 and I knew I knew from that moment that it was going to be a day of powerful change but I had no idea what was in store and I had this beautiful meditation outside and I got all aligned and I called in Ostara and I felt the energy blossoming through me and then came the storm. Then came the storm and that storm rolled through me too. It rolled right through me and created powerful change. So this was a death and rebirth, a, even, a, even a small tower moment. It is definitely a tower moment with the death and rebirth. This is a, a change and a transformation. So I'm excited for this powerful energy of, cha energy of change for you. And this all has to do uh, with fertility, rebirth, renewal, but also the return of the sun and the welcoming of the new dawn. So this is powerful symbolism that has to do with this. So today I'm going to light a couple of candles for both the divine masculine and the divine feminine as well for this Ostara season. We're going to go ahead and light our beautiful candles here to Ostara. Thank you, Ostara, for being here and gracing us with your presence. We are ever so grateful for your presence and your wisdom. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for holding this space. <laughs> oh, sorry, I said no swords. I, I had to uh, put my sword away for this, for this reading. She said no swords. So I have um, some special decks to use that Ostara picked out to use for this reading today. Two of the decks that I made myself. Um, and we're going to use the Luna Lopin Tarot, which is all is all the rabbits. It has to do with fertility, and the rabbits is one of Ostara's um, signs. Let's go ahead and we're going to cleanse, and then we're going to run the third eye chakra bowl. We're going to cleanse with a little Palo Santo. And we're cleansing all these energies from this great change. So this is a great change uh, that we're going through. I'm going to show you guys what's been happening on the Schumann Resonance as well. It's powerful, you guys. It took me a while to get back to you. Those activations that came through, um, the activations that came through were so powerful. And the information that I received was so much at once that my body almost literally shut down. I um, had to go through a lot of stuff to transmute the energies, to integrate this into my body. And here we go. So perhaps some of you are going through a process like this. I'm gonna send you this powerful cleansing, healing smoke. Cleanse your energetic field and your aura. Cleanse the space around you and around me. 
And we're just going to ask Ostara for her blessings for this spring. Thank you so much, Ostara, for your blessings of fertility, abundance, rebirth, and renewal. Rebirth and renewal. You cleanse these cards here. Okay. And let me run my third eye chakra bowl. I realize I just laid it right over here. It will take me about a sec to grab it. There we go. I'm going to um, run this third eye chakra bowl to help open your third eye. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Thank you. three cards to choose from today, but let me go ahead and light these candles for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So since we're doing all this incredible change and we're cleansing out all these energies, I have a couple of candles here, the lime and the coconuts with sea salt, and we're just cleansing out and rebirthing anew. Thank you so much, Ostara, for rebirthing anew. This is for cleansing, protection, fertility, for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, and bringing these divine counterparts together. For the divine counterparts, this is cleansing for both parties. And blessings. Oh, doesn't it look like a little cake? It does. The little spring cake. Isn't that lovely? It's okay, my girls. My dogs are getting a little anxious. I think somebody must have come out of their room in the house, or perhaps the pressure from outside is moving the doors. One of these things is happening. I'm going to go ahead and show you what cards we have to choose from. We have this Pearl and Laramar. For group number one, it's Pearl and Laramar, let go. Surrender, release, triggers and patterns, Pleiades energy. For group number two, it's Citrine and Dandelion. Make a wish, clearing comparison, surrender to magic. And for group number three, it's this Ethiopian opal, fertile ground, Pegasus unicorn energy, and rainbow child. Now you might have messages in more than one group, that is often the case. If you call, feel called to more than one card, you could have messages in more than one group. As always, please only take what resonates as I read from the collective, and this is a collective reading. And if you don't find a message here, you can always find one in my other readings. And my readings are always timeless, so it'll come to you whenever you need it. I'm sending you guys so much light and love. I'll have the links below in the description for each of your groups, and I'll see you in your group. Hello and welcome to group number one. If you chose card number one, you chose this beautiful Pearl and Laramar card. Let go, surrender, release, patterns and triggers, and Pleiades. And we've got these dolphins, there's a, a shell with the pearl and the rainbow. Looks like a mermaid diving under here. And feeling the moon. Oh, this is a, so we've got the pearl, oh, this is a Laramar. The Laramar looks like a moon. And this is, um, this is Venus energy. So we've got some very strong Venus energy. And of course, this is the energy of Ostara as well, uh, the bringer of the dawn. Let's go ahead and get... We're going to, oh, you know what? I started shuffling cards already, but I was feeling the need to get some um, charms first for you guys. And then we're going to tap in with the messages. We're going to see if Ostara has any channeled messages for you. Group number one. What do we have here? We have a butterfly. A butterfly, transformation is what I'm hearing, transformation. We've got the horse for action and moving forward. We've got the little crown, so this is the chosen ones. These are the kings and queens here. We've got the death. We've got the skull and crossbones with the death rebirth processes. And I'm feeling some Kali Ma energy. Then we've got the star here. The star. And then we have the little tower. So I was saying there was like a little tower moment possibly. But this also could be travel. This could be travel as well. I'm going to go ahead and tap into the messages. She's wanting me to get some tarot cards first, so I'm going to get a few tarot cards, and then I will tap in, you guys. Let's see what sort of messages Astara has for us. I've always been so drawn to her energy, and I'm so excited to have her here. She threw them all out at once. I said four, but she gave me five, so we'll just do that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, she just threw them right out at my feet. 
So it is Eight of Cups, Strength, Four of Swords, Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tap into this energy for you. Just taking a look at these cards here real quick. I see that. I see this walking away. I see the strength in the walking away and the resting from it. All those energies coming at you. Okay, let me tap in here real quick. Wow. Oh, Star, it's just showing me the skull and crossbones. I'm seeing the symbol of the skull and crossbones right away. I feel like a pirate flag. I'm getting like a rose behind it. It's like a blossoming through the rebirth. So the death and rebirth is a process. And this is the blossoming and this is the cycle of life. So you remember to always go forward. You do have to walk away and leave things sometimes. This is standing in your strength. So what she's saying, she's, I'm seeing a cross there. Now she's showing me the energy is coming through. Okay, so she wants me to show you the Schumann resonance. Um, because I forgot to show you guys at the beginning of the video, but that's what she wants me to show you. This was. So I went through these. I went through these. Uh, these energies real hardcore, you guys, from the Divine Partnership activation. I got so much information, and it was just. It was uh beautiful, wonderful, and also overwhelming. It overwhelmed me. Um, it was a too a bit too much. Um, at once and it actually caused me to have a fever. I had a fever. <laughs> so uh, that's what, that's um, what's going on here. So I, I took a couple of days. I had to take a couple of personal days to work through this and do a lot of meditating and a lot of grounding and a lot of uh, really nurturing myself and speaking to my guides and, and balancing out. I had to transmute these energies. I ended up um, I mean, having to exercise, exercise them out as well as well as you know the whole mental process but this is the this is the energy she wanted me to show you that came through and i saw this energy on the shimon resonance and look at it when it came through you guys this is when i was having this major this major thing and i and i saw it on the the shimon resonance and i saw it and i said ten of swords that's enough <laughs> that's enough ten of swords done <laughs> done done with that too much that's enough ten of swords uh, so it was like a, it was kind of like a, it was like an ending. It was basically an end of a cycle. So this was an end of a cycle. So we've had some more, um, more, more, um, more little jagged lines come in since then. Little spikes of power. They're all the way going down, all the way into the higher frequencies. Look how far down this one goes, all the way down. So you know that it keeps going into the even higher frequencies, very high frequency. And this was this morning. Um, as we're going through these collective energies when I was woke up at 5.55. This is about what's coming in this morning. So this is um, the spectral uh, resonance structures, spectral resonance structures caused by the Schumann frequencies. And you can see there was a lot going on in the collective conscious this morning and it's trickling down to the higher frequencies. As you see, um, you see this pattern, right? You can kind of see the higher font staff again a little bit. You can kind of see it right there. But you can see this pattern and it's trickling down as it trickles down to the higher frequencies. So this is like pulling people down up into the higher frequencies. So some people I'm saying, some people are ascending here um, through this through this end to this, whatever that's coming up. This is a great change. This is a great change to take them to facility, bring them to a higher higher frequency. But again, that has to do with um, the timelines were, uh, and I, I feel like we've, this right here is kind of solidified. It's brought in another timeline. So we've got this solidified in is what I'm feeling now. That's what I'm feeling, but we'll see if these energies change a little bit. So what they're, what she's telling me, it had to do with this walking away process, having the strength to walk away from karmic cycles. These things that made you have to rest so much, there's going to be some more rest in the future. Like you might be needing to rest right now. So I did put this in the future. I'm fighting off negative energy. She's telling me there's no past, present, or future here. So you've been having to rest to fight off these energies. You've been having to rest. And really what you're wanting to go to is this Ten of Cups. You want to go to this happy family. And this is that Ostara energy. We've got the rainbow, we've got the bunnies, we've got all the cups, all that love and emotion, intuition and connecting together. This is this is the completion. This is like the 10. It's like the opposite of the 10 of wands I was seeing, right? And I feel with the 7 of wands there might have been some sort of there might have been some sort of deception that you were fighting off, right? Some sort of deception about these energies that are coming at you. Oh, because like maybe they're maybe they're um, I'm thinking narcs, you know, maybe they're uh, narcissists and they're coming out with a deceptive energy is trying to gaslight you or something. You know, that's a possibility here. Um, for other things that I'm seeing is just like, but a lot of it is just karmic. I'm seeing people coming at you with karmic energies, and this is coming up out of having the strength to walk away and knowing where these energies aren't for you. These aren't for you. 
Uh, these aren't the cups for you. These aren't the emotions you want to deal with. These aren't the, the emotions you're walking away from that. And, and it's, see, it's, see, they're showing me that it's like in the darkness, like walking away in the darkness. Maybe you're walking away like where it's still mystery. Um, she's saying it's like it's still, it could still be a mystery where you're going. This is having strength, knowing that if you let go, that these new energies will come in. Let's get some more cards. She wants me to get the alchemy cards now. Um, okay, like this. This card. Sublimation. Sublimation. See, yeah, it's rising above. Sublimation. It's rising above those, it's rising above those issues. We're rising above. Ascending, right? Ascending. That's what I was saying was showing up on the Schumann Resonance. This ascension. And, uh, and dissolution. So I've got sublimation and dissolution. So then I, I, you have to go down into it, right, to come up out of it. You do have to, you have to break it all apart. You have to break it all apart um, to rise above. Break it all apart. We're going to, and it's like a, there's a mirroring here. There's a mirroring. So this could have to do with these divine counterparts. I, I'm thinking that a lot of these uh, messages are going to have messages for divine counterparts. So you just take them how they resonate for you if you're not in that sort of situation. But I definitely see a mirroring of these souls coming together to this Ten of Cups. as um, And it's like a mirroring, but one's going down, one's coming up. So uh, this is your, and the, what she's saying is that you guys have to go down into these emotions to root out the issues with them, what's going on with it, um, to rise above those. And then, it, and then sometimes you're gonna need to rest from that. So it's having strength to go down into those emotions, having strength to look at these cups that you're walking away from. Having strength to really look at them, to really look at them and to, to realize that this isn't for you to dissolve that contract, dissolution, to dissolve that contract in strength, to let it go, to let it go. So you can come into beautiful, blissful union, yes? So you can get to a happy family. And if you're not going to union with a divine partnership, then just take it to how it resonates. You're letting go of something that's emotional. These could be emotions within you. These could be things within you that you're letting go from past traumas. This is having the strength to overcome that. Dissolve all of these in grace. She is saying dissolve all of these in grace to let go. If you surrender and you release these patterns, this is going to help you to rise above. It's going to, it's going to be joyful. It's going to give you a joyful spirit. She's wanting me to get some fairy cards over here. So let me see. And then we're going to get some of these. Oh, flourish. It's going to help you to flourish. See, that's, that's what she's saying. It's going to help you to flourish in abundance. So to flourish in abundance, releasing these patterns and triggers. Releasing the patterns and triggers, not letting them do the same thing to you. Like, whereas you wouldn't speak up before, maybe speaking up now. Maybe standing up for yourself in strength. That's just one of the things that I'm seeing. So just take this how it resonates, whatever it was that you would do before, perhaps when you when you were confronted with these emotional situations, um, these emotional people, doing something different, surrendering from those patterns and triggers, not letting it trigger you into whatever it is that possibly you did before, whatever your pattern was. Maybe you have anxiety or hiding, maybe being afraid. That I'm, maybe I'm afraid song has been going through my head for days. I have to get these uh, readings out to you guys. I just I was going through so much stuff. So flourish. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas in your life or those of others. This is how you're going to. This is how you're going to flourish. Unclear areas. Any unclear areas on those of your life or others. I said even or others. You know, it's like if it's their emotions. If it's their emotions that's doing it to you, standing in your strength and dissolving those, dissolving those contracts and moving away from that. She wants me to get one more fairy card. I'm feeling the kind of the energies from this. And honestly, it's, it's a little bit like the energies I've been feeling over the last few days, which makes perfect sense, you guys. Look in a book. Wherever, uh, whatever you question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. Huh. I feel, I feel like somebody's writing a book here. I feel like someone is also writing a book. And, and then I feel that somebody is, um, it's possibly like a journal. Like maybe you're writing stuff down in a journal. Um, maybe in your, oh gosh, they're showing me in my journal with some messages there for me because I need to get these messages out <laughs> to you guys. So what they're showing me. So there's something in a book. This could be something that you're learning, something, uh, some sort of new wisdom. This also could be in an audio book because, you know, I've been uh, posting those audio books and listening to those all the time. I, I try to listen to them um, 
just often try to keep them playing throughout my house or frequencies or tones. So there might be something in a book that's going to help you to bring you the insight you seek. And this could, again, this could have to do with a book that you're writing. And we're going to get a few of these other cards here. Let's see what we've got about this Eight of Cups. Do you have anything on the Eight of Cups that you want to tell us? Or the, the strength? Oh, on strength. Music. Music is going to give you strength through this. Um, and I'm seeing talking about playing the frequencies and tones throughout the house. So music is going to be giving you strength. Do you want to give me any cards on... Oh, I was going to say the look in a book. Fairy ring and you are loved. So I think they're wanting you to connect to the fairies. You might be reading about fairies. This also could be... Oh, I'm getting like connect to Akashic Records and go on a shamanic journey. Akashic Records books, you guys. That's what they're telling me. And you are loved. You are loved by the fairies. You are loved by this person. I do feel um, that this divine partnership, you are loved. Um, you are loved by the people around you. Um, I, I feel you're loved by your, your spirit guides and your star beings. Um, but this is, I feel like it's also a dissolving all in love. And they're showing me at the bottom of the deck, fairy magic. Like if you dissolve all of this in love, it's like magical. It's like magical and it's going to help everyone to flourish. It's like a letting go in love, letting go in love, which it's completely magical. I see you at the bottom of the deck messages. There might be incoming messages for you that become magical that help you to flourish. I hope so. They're, they're showing me again fairy assistance. You're going to get some fairy assistance with this. Are you, any of you guys studying about fairies? You guys can let me know below in the comments because I feel I feel like there's definitely, or possibly about piercing the veil, uh, looking beyond. And again, that was connecting to the Kashuk records. And they're, they're telling me at the bottom of before, beyond that, it says ask for and accept assistance. Ask for and accept assistance. So perhaps if you're, this is a call to call on your spirit guides, your spirit guides, the archangels, they're also showing me go within, go within. So again, with the look in the book, again, I do feel, again, this is also Akashic Records and going within to connect to Akashic Records. So there's going to be more information for you there. And they're telling me also, she's telling me, but I have this, I have other spirit guides here besides Ostara. I, I just noticed. So you are safe. You are safe. And I feel this is for the person that's, um, that's not feeling safe right now. Your spirit guides just came through to say you are safe. I feel like it's like the seven of wands energy and they're just wanting you to rest, to rest and rise above because you are perfectly safe and protected where you are right now. You're protected by this fairy energy. And I feel fairy energy is very much Ostara, you know, very much Ostara energy. I want me to check the time. I saw 144, you guys, and it turned to an 8 right then, so I saw 1447, so this is like a 144 marriage, 144 relationship, so it's so a coming together of these divine partnerships for the 144,000, so definitely Ostara is helping with this, so I feel, I feel this beautiful energy here, but I also saw 144, and then we had the 8 on the ends, uh, this is coming up out of karmic cycles, and also like an infinity loop for this 4, so this is, this is definitely, you're on the right track, you were, in, they're showing me the bottom of the deck, because I'm like four, 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 right? Four, 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 four. They showed me. And look at that. Look at that number, you guys. Because you're going to have some good messages there. Look, they're showing me the bottom of the deck. Four of wands. Four, 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 I was saying. Four, 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 four. So yeah, this is uh, this is this four of wands. This is the partnerships coming together. This is um, for those of you already in partnership. This would be your partnership getting becoming more stable you know becoming more happy becoming more stable because of you letting go of these other things right and um and this also could be um for those of you not looking for a divine partnership or anything like that this could be just more stability within yourself and this also like a sovereignty because i'm feeling it's like marrying yourself and and having that uh, having that um, I'm seeing the page of wands, but I do feel like maybe somebody wants to bring you in this love, this passion. Um, so there's somebody that could be like, what is it? Hi, I'm here. Yes, they're showing me the bottom of the deck sunrise. And it's Ostara of the dawn, Ostara that brings the sun. So there is, there is a sun that's rising. There is, um, and I feel this could, this is definitely, I'm feeling the divine masculine here as this possible, this page of wands for some of you guys. And then it's the, the sunrise of the sublimation as he's rising above, as he's ascending, uh, resting and fighting off these energies. Again, remember, you are safe. You guys are always safe. They're showing me the bottom of the deck for justice because, of course, this is justice. 
This is justice for these star seeds, these divine partnerships, these earth angelic ones. This is justice. This is justice from walking away out of those karmic cycles, these things that were keeping you away from having this happy relationship, this happy marriage. These things that were keeping you, these things that you had to walk away from, within or without of yourself. Dissolving all these in grace and love. Seven of Swords, see, because there was like some trickery afoot, there was some lies. There is maybe someone could be hiding something as well. So, you know, just not telling the truth. Yeah, tower, <laughs> tower moment. I felt that. So, um, Perhaps it could have to do with this. Yes, they're showing me right after that. It could have to do with these divine partnerships coming in. Maybe someone wasn't uh, speaking their truth. Maybe there was a little bit of a tower moment there for some of you. Um, for others of you, this could be due with karmic cycles. They're showing me the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Wands. Like, um, like yeah. Yeah, I get it. I, I get it. I feel like, um, I feel this fire... This fire is really, really kind of wanting to come in for you. I really do. It, I think it's coming your way. Let's get a couple more cards here. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Of Star, Four of Pentacles. I feel for some of you, again, this is just the Divine Masculine. It's really kind of passionate. Maybe it doesn't really fall for everyone. Maybe this is a... This is a and I felt like this was the Divine Masculine. I put these over here. Yeah, this is a Divine Masculine. Maybe it doesn't really normally feel this way, it's building up his money, like saving money to try to come to get to the Divine Feminine, so take this how it resonates, but I definitely feel that energy here um, as he's rising above, so like uh, ascending, Divine Masculine ascending, and um, and then just really working on uh, keeping his, getting his money together with it. Let's, let's get one more card here, let's start for the Divine Masculine energy here, this Knight of Wands. you got for me oh see because it's six of pentacles yeah um they, they want enough to be able to share with you you know um divine feminine they want to be able to give you a happy home and i feel like again you can see that's like they're showing me like with the balance like they, they can see that it's like balance it's a balanced relationship and they just want enough to offer they want to be able to offer something that looks balanced so i feel some of them might not be as um, feel like they are at the same level. And again, I've got this on the like ascending side. You were safe. So maybe they're going through a bunch of shadow work with the tower here. There could be a lot of shadow work happening. I was having to transmute energies alchemically. There could be a lot of alchemy and trans transformation, transmutation going on. I've got this Luna Lopin. This is the title card. You're going to have success over this. It might be being done in the shadows, like a secretive thing, some of this. But it's like the sun and the moon coming together. The sun and the moon. Like, uh, the, like the moon was hidden. There's like a three of hearts. I, or three, of, three of hearts. You guys, I said three of hearts. There's a three of swords. Like somebody could have been hurt over this. Um, the Luna. Divine Feminine could have been hurt over this. Um, possibly somebody not speaking their truth with the uh, seven of swords. Yeah, not speaking your truth, I think, is hurtful to the Divine Feminine. For some of you, this could be uh, this could be a past partner that you are walking away from. It would be like justice from these energies. No more, no more breaking your heart. Divine feminines walking away from karmic, karmic relationships, karmic entanglements, any sort of energies that hurt her heart. Um, she is walking away from. They're showing me the bottom of the deck with the ten of pentacles. Yeah, because she sees this ten of pentacles, this ten of pentacles, ten of cups. This is abundance. Um, this is how we get to abundance. Osiris said, "This is where it's a letting go. It's a letting go." Um, and surrendering to those old patterns triggers. Um, this is Pleiadian energy. It's going to be very healing. We've got that dolphin energy for play. It's, it's going to be very healing. They're showing me the seven of cups there at the bottom of the deck. It's going to be, I think there might have been some illusion um, in the way. It could have had to do with the divine masculine or the divine feminine. Maybe somebody wasn't sure. Um, what was what, like which one of these cups were being offered. This could still have some relevance. Uh, I'm seeing like chalices, like which one of these chalices is one. Maybe somebody was hidden. This could have been the sun or the moon um, that I'm seeing right here. If so, I feel that there's more information coming in. Let me, there's, yes, that page of cups. Like somebody maybe didn't know um, or they were unsure or they thought you could be too good to be true. Divine Feminine, maybe that could be it. 
page of cups are thinking they really just want to bring you this cup of love, right? This is, they really do, um, is what I'm seeing. Five of pentacles, I feel like they're feeling like left out. Somebody's feeling really left out about this because this could be a mirroring. Just like left out in the cold, left out in the cold, <laughs> kept from the moonlight. And right underneath that is the Luna Lopin card. And this one's in the brightness, this one's in the, this one's in the, the light, right? So we've got the, the two wild cards. We've got the light and the dark. And again, this is Ostara, so this is about a balance of the light and the dark. And sometimes you have to go down into the dark to come back up into the light. They're showing me the devil. It's like overcoming the devil. It's like overcoming temptations, uh, overcoming doubts, fears. Um, but I, I'm... Chains. I'm hearing chains that bind you to this world. That's what she's telling me chains that letting go of the chains that bind you in this world and it's like transmuting it with fire transmuting it with fire and I said I had a bit of a fever right transmuting it with fire it took me a couple of days to transmute those energies guys we're gonna get some feeling I need some healing cards here so we're gonna get some of these crystal medicine oracle cards what you got for me Ostara moving forward moving forward sorry for my Sorry for my, uh, so this is an angelic ascension. This is moving forward. We already had that horse for action. You know, this is the chosen ones coming together. Again, there's a tower moment, a journey. Tower, journey, uh, journey. And this is a journey. Look at that. Look at the air element. The air, I've been feeling so much of this air element lately. I feel like I'm still a little bit up in the clouds. Still a little bit up in the air. But I put down my sword. I did put down my sword. And this is moving forward because you were safe. You are safe and everything is understood and transmuted in love. I want you to get a few charms. There's an angel. So the angels are guiding this. They're watching over this because you guys are both part of this crystic line. This is, uh, this is bringing the key to body, mind, and spirit. So this is just transmuting these energies through body, mind, and spirit to give you this key. It's this key. To happiness, the key to abundance and happiness, a happy family. I've got two horses here now, you guys, two horses moving towards each other. Now, isn't that a beautiful picture with our two little candles right here? We've got the chosen ones coming together. That's lovely. That is a lovely, lovely picture. I'm wanting to get another uh, healing card here. So let's see what she got for us. Yes, Divine Masculine Sun, Heliodor 11. There's our, there's our Divine Partnership, our Twin Flames coming together into balance. I feel like this Divine Masculine might be coming into balance now. Maybe he's finding that the Divine Feminine balances. Uh, moving forward to the Sun. Moving forward to the Sun. Ooh, soul awakening, medicine pouch. So someone's having an awakening. And like they said, I think something might have been hidden before. Someone's having an awakening. This is going to be rejuvenating. Uh, this is this is Ostara. So there's there's a great rejuvenation that's happening right now. They've got the numbers 28, 23, and 11. Something could have happened in 2023 that really set this off, that really kind of cemented this into reality that began it. Because I'm seeing the roots, the roots of the tree. Like the roots of the tree go deeper than you think. That's, this could be the case. The roots of the tree may go deeper than I think. We've got the dream terminally and transmuting. Transmuting these energies. And this is what we were doing. This transmuting is, re is rejuvenating. It's rejuvenating to your system. We're changing our DNA. We're changing these from these triggers, patterns, and releases. It's a complete... A complete transformation with this soul awakening you're awakening all of this again this is if you connect to the akashic records or you're you're doing some sort of study like they were showing me at the bottom right now i feel like it's like really connecting to this grandmother energy the medicine pouch and i feel like this grandmother energy is here for you right now this grandmother and crystal diva crystal blessings cathedral light berry and that's just another call a harken back to go to uh go to the akashic records definitely tap into your akashic records there's some messages for you there it's could have to do with karmic cycles for some of you because they're showing me the eight the eight here for karmic cycles and i'm seeing eight eight um 88 cycles of change uh, abundance this is moving to abundance moving to abundance and they're also telling me two 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 so again these partnerships coming together their angels and spirit guides are, are helping. So we've got the ancestors here. We have the ancestors here. And I was making sure that I wanted to light candles for my ancestors, you guys. So I've got the um, ancestors. Uh, 
these are candles for Ostara, but I was also intending to light candles for the ancestors as well. So this is just an ancestor greeting, an ancestor uh, blessing that they are here watching over this. Again, this is led by the angels. It's led by the ancestors. It really has to do with this Christic line. Let me try to take a breath. It's kind of flowing through kind of fast. Um, again, we've got the angels and spirit guides, the upper world, angel light. Moving into the upper world or uh, this is... I'm hearing the upper world and lower world coming together because, of course, it's the balance. It's the balance. And this is going to be rejuvenating. I feel like that we need to clean, cleanse out some of these energies as well. We still need to cleanse a little bit more of this out of our system. I'm honestly feeling it in myself. So I really, that's, I almost brought the tourmaline over here when I started the reading, you guys. So I probably will go grab that um, as soon as I've done with this. But this is just cleansing out those energies. Make sure you're cleansing. As you're going through this transformation process, this is a great change. This is a great, great change on the earth. You're creating great change on the earth. So thank you so much for doing this. You're actually doing an incredible job. But as you're meditating and you're cleansing out those energies and you're reawakening your soul you're rejuvenating yourself you're rejuvenating the planet and this is why ostara is here and this is why ostara is bringing this beautiful energy in of this transformation and rebirth right now remember you are safe and you are loved it's okay to let go this is just the transformation process to get to this key to body mind and spirit to get to this abundance in this happy family that's coming together um and i think that's a beautiful message Gonna check the time real quick. Yeah, I've been reading for like 30 minutes. Okay, guys, uh, if you've stuck around this long, and that's pretty incredible, you know, you should tell me that in the comments. I actually watched all of pile one, Luna. That's amazing, you read for so long. I really got lost in it, you guys, I did. So, <laughs> so I'm sending you guys so much light and love. Thank you so much for all your likes, your subscriptions, your shares, your donations, your purchasing a personal reading. I am ever so grateful for you for helping me uh, to share my light and love and support me on my channel. I'm just ever so grateful. So I'm sending you so much light and love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number two. If you chose card number two, you chose this beautiful citrine and dandelion. Make a wish. Clearing comparison. Surrender to magic. And this is a beautiful card. This was something that Ostara showed me when I was outside. And she had me do this image, uh, this, uh, um, imagery in my mind so this uh this visualization of gathering all of my worries everything like all of it all the energies gathering it all into a big dandelion and blowing it out energetically in front of me and it actually felt super incredible and then i felt all this energy blossoming out of me so that's really awesome i'm gonna go ahead and cleanse again really quick you guys just from the energies of the last reading because i feel them tucking on me a little bit so we're gonna cleanse that out Make sure we're not picking up on any energies at the last reading. But I, you guys, of course, you could have messages in both groups. That is often the case. Here we go. Just get these energies cleansed out real quick. There. And if you were drawn to pile one, I read for like 30 minutes. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you were interested, I would check that out. It's definitely about the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Okay, so we're going to get these energies on. The Citrine and Dandelion. And I just, I was talking about blowing all those energies and like blowing them away like a dandelion. And that's what I just needed to clear out those energies again. So that's funny. So we just blew it away with the smoke. We just blew it all away. <laughs> just <laughs> blow it all away. Let it all go, right? Clearing comparison and surrender to the magic. So don't compare it to anything. Uh, don't compare this to anything you've happened before. This is going to be a completely new energy. This is, I've got a guitar here. So this is musical. I've got a Pegasus uh, for like ascension, right? I'm feeling like the, the horse is rising up. I've got this tree of life. Make a wish. Ooh, I'm feeling good here. We've got the divine feminine key. We have a star. 
and we have the Christic Cross. So definitely connected to the Tree of Life, definitely connected to this uh, Christic line. Healers, these are divine healers. So this is a message for divine healers. I'm really excited. I'm feeling the divine masculine, divine feminine in here. The messages are feeling a little lighter than the last one. So I'm kind of excited about that. So let's see what's going on. I'm gonna tap in for you, for your messages from Ostara, group number two. So, okay, I am seeing the star, but the representation that they're giving me is like the star, but then I see um, the tree of life. So they're showing me the Kabbalistic tree of life within the body, and then they're showing me DNA that's rising up. So there's a great change that's happening within the tree of life. Maybe you're connecting to the tree of life, and this is causing great change within the DNA of your body. Uh, this is this is what they're showing me. So this is activating your DNA, activating your DNA, activating this I am presence, activating your I am presence. So now that you're making a wish, uh, making a wish on what you actually wish to have, clearing comparisons to that from anything else, and surrendering to the magic of that. They, uh, she wants me to pull some cards. Okay, okay. They flew at my feet. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. And I, I see these are all very valid, um, but there's, oh, they want me to take them. There were four that came out in a, in a clump, but they do want me to take them. Okay. All right. So, gosh. So we had the emperor and the world come out in our divine partnership read. And again, I did feel like this has to do with divine partnerships. So if you're not going to divine partnership or you're already within a partnership, please take this how it resonates because this will be, um, this would be the combining of the divine masculine within and divine feminine within you, bringing you to balance. Yes. Or it could be um, this uh, coming together more closely within the relationship that you were already within. But I feel somebody's been tied up. Somebody's felt really tied up and they were just, they're just despondent about it. It's been... Who have got them blindfolded and tied up. So, like, maybe they can't even see something. I think they can't even see something. Um, when it should just be, like, stabbing them in the face, I feel like. Because of all these swords, like, okay. But there's some, I feel this five of wands is, like, a mental anguish. I feel like it's, like, a mental conflict within. So somebody's having this mental conflict and they feel all tied up about it. And this could be a mirroring. This could be both. This could be both. This has to do with these divine partnerships coming in. Um, or again, for those of you not going to divine partnership, this is, this has to do with, um, you stepping up to sovereignty of the world over the world. And you've been tied up with some mental, mental anguish maybe, but you see this 10 of pentacles. This is the abundance that you're going to, this is what you're wanting to bring in. And this is why you're going to get here because you've got the six of pentacles. If this is the six of pentacles. You want to share this with the world. See when this abundance comes in for you, when uh, this abundance comes in for you, and I'm feeling Ostara here, when Ostara like doles out this abundance to you, she knows that you're going to share this with others. This is like a sharing energy, a sharing energy. We're going to get a couple of alchemy cards. Emperor. I think uh, somebody's used to really being in control here. And maybe the surrender of control can be difficult, uh, but this is overcoming. So this, uh, this could be showing the surrender of control. Maybe they feel out of control, yes? I feel like somebody is this other person's entire world. Again, this it feels like a mirroring here. So again, take this how it resonates because I've got, I've got several different groups in here, I can tell. You can tell I've got these divine partners and then I've got people that are not part of that group. So, um, but I definitely see that Someone, oh, look at this singing. They're showing me the world singing. So, so maybe somebody's watching you sing or they love the way you sing. Um, you're protected by the angels. This Because they're showing me this protection of this little innocent bunny singing a song and then these angels around here. And they're showing me the above and below. Uh, the above and below. Oh, the, so the, the balance here. So I feel, um, for some of you, it's like, okay, this would be the divine feminine. This would be the divine masculine. Like he's all control. Like we've got this, um, Aries, we've got this Aries energy here. I've been feeling the Aries energy and, and then the Aries is a uh, Mercury's an Aries right now. Right guys. And this is, um, and this is causing us to speak our anger, to speak our truth. 
of anger or whatever are are just are just like this again so here we go we've got the five of wands like this speak to speak these um to speak this war right aries it's war so this could have been happening for you guys right now with the virgin's milk i feel that it's like these soothing energies that are coming in hold on okay all right so divine partnerships this is whew, virgin's milk mother the mother the virgin's milk i don't know why i'm hearing the mother like the mother's milk the virgin's milk oh i guess mary uh mary mother jesus was the virgin um so we've got the blue rose imagery right here and the rebus androgyny they want me to actually get um some messages from the book for you so i'll go ahead and check those for the virgin's milk but i'm feeling um definitely for these divine partnerships y'all have been going through some tough times right but you see you see that you are if you surrender to the magic and you clear any comparisons with any other sort of relationship that you've ever encountered, any sort of other energy that you've ever encountered, um, that this is actually going to be a beautiful mirroring of the sun and the moon. This is a beautiful partnership of coming together. And we've got these blue roses. So blue roses or other blue flowers could have some meaning for you. And then we've got the two rainbows. So I'm feeling like these rainbow frequencies and Upstara is all about the rainbows and the rainbow light coming in. It's funny, I was just talking to my friend, um, I, was, I was just researching my friend Iris about her, um, her sign, and her sign is the rainbow, right? The goddess Iris, who was a um, XL, so that's 40. The goddess Iris, who was a, a messenger, she's like a counterpart to Hermes. Mercury, and it was just Mercury and uh, Aries. Yeah, so it's communicating. I have I have communicated with her and told her about all my anger. So that's fun. That's fun. That's a fun little tidbit there. That's <laughs> so this is communicating this um this anger is what they're showing me. There's a communication. There's a communication of um and that again it has to do with what's going on right now with the energies and that's only for another day. So I believe when this uh, when this reading comes out, this may have already happened for some of you. And again, take this how it resonates because they're not showing like an anger between these partners or anything like that. It's just that there's a communication of anger going on, right? They're both feeling kind of tied up in this is what it looks like. Virgin's milk, innocence, naivety, and purity. So yeah, somebody's innocent, pure, and, and naive. Again, I didn't think there was anger between these uh, divine counterparts. I think, and I think someone is blind to some things. So again, this is the innocence. How can milk come from one not carrying a child? The nuance of lack of virginous discernment. Okay, so this says, yes, this milky substance is a symbol of purity and innocence, but its shadow side is naivety and even denial. Naivety and even denial. In some things being glossed over, rushed, or presented as perfect. Maybe somebody wants it to be perfect or they're in denial about something. There are likely complexities that need to be addressed to the so the alchemist can then gain the maturity to handle what's next. And I can, I said there were things that needed to be addressed. So there were things that needed to be addressed to work through. And that's what I've been working on for the last few days, working through those energies. So that's definitely definitely what was happening. There's something that needed to be addressed. They want me to look up these cards as well. It's a mystical substance supposedly coming from the virgin's breast. And then it says we studied. And it points to the lack of awareness or experience that the alchemist would rather not reveal. To a lack of awareness or experience that the alchemist would rather not reveal. And I said somebody seems blinded or like tied up. Right? Okay. Patience is the remedy, they're saying. Patience is the remedy. Patience. Okay, so have patience with this, whatever is going on. If it's with you or if it's with this other person, have patience. Because I do see that this is a beautiful partnership. We have X or LX. LX. Um, I, I. So 62, Rebus, the Androgyny. Creative transcendence, multiplicity, the artist. So yeah, this is a transcendence of these energies. Definitely, um, I was feeling this is a, definitely a, an ascension sort of thing. So this is the transcendence that's happening. It has to do with um, connecting to this a divine feminine. 
Um, so we've got the Divine Feminine key, so I'm feeling Divine Sophia. And then the, you guys are both stars. So this is, you're both stars, so you're both star seeds. And I feel like you're musical star seeds, like you both are musical. Creative, a trend, uh, let's see. Deeply revered image in alchemy, born of Hermes. We were just talking about Hermes, yes? Hermes and Aphrodite. And then, so we've got this Venusian energy. We've got this Astara so energy here. So we've got this um, Hermes and Aphrodite. So this is like Hermes and Aphrodite coming together. And this is a balanced union of divine masculine, the sun, and the divine feminine, the moon. This is beautiful. This is fluid and enlightened state requires us to slip into the contradictory realm of the senses, to let go of rules and labels, um, the embodied artist embraced unconditional, unconditionally by the sun and the moon. So this is this is embracing the divine masculine and the divine feminine within yourself and coming into balance. But this is also just just another um, just another call to these partnerships to just have patience with this process. Somebody, I think somebody sees you as too perfect, and so they're feeling a little tied up about that. Maybe they always felt in control before, and maybe they're just like. Um, arguing with themselves about that. What it looks like to me, um, you should take that how it resonates. That's definitely somebody was feeling tied up. Somebody's feel, they're just like all in their head about it. All in their head about it. But they see the Ten of Pentacles. There's a tower. There's a tower moment that's happened. It's going to bring them out of this Eight of Swords, the Hierophant. Yeah, because this is what you're needing to go to. Page of Swords, that maybe they're wanting to come in with a message. Like, hey, hey, uh, hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Hey, can we address this elephant in the room? The magician. Yeah, the magician. He might be trying to manifest this. Um, I he manifest his way out of a tower. Yeah. Um, you guys might be trying to manifest your way out of a tower. But if you are, you're going to this energy. See, so you, so you've got you've got the ability to do this. You're the magician. Look at this cute little bunny, you guys. This is so adorable. Got the wands, the pinnacles, and the cups. So this is harnessing all the elements and creating with intention. So someone is doing this. Someone's creating with intention, and they think their intention is to come to this partnership. Their intention is for this hierophant. Now, for some of you not going to find partnership again, this would be um, you creating with intention, you manifesting, and your intention is sovereignty. Your intention is to be, to be this spiritual guru, and this would be new information coming in with you for that after this tower moment. Nine of Wands, yeah, somebody was just feeling really kind of beat up about this. It was really, it was really, it was a bit much. And that was why there was this tower. They were showing me the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And that's what I saw on the Schumann Resonance. Let me show you guys, because I only showed group one. So I'll go ahead and show you here. Oh, yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, somebody just had to, somebody just had to maybe, uh, maybe cut off their access to the energy for a moment. Maybe it was just overwhelming. Let's see. I'm going to show you guys the Schumann resonance. Yeah, because I, I said it was just like no more, right? No more, that's enough, is what I said. When I saw this Schumann resonance, um, what was happening when I was going through that, and this is what this is what it looked like on the Schumann resonance. You see all these lines like stabbing down. I was like, oh my God, that is a ten of, ten of wands. That's a ten of wands, a ten of swords. It was too much burden. That's the end. That's enough. It's the end of a cycle. Something just shut down, right? It was, it was too much. It was too much. It was um, a too much burden, too much, uh, too much fire. Um, King of Swords. So yeah, just having to um, to to cut off those energies. I feel like uh, like yeah, it was the Two of Cups. Like maybe they could see it's the Two of Cups. You can see it's the Two of Cups. They just want to come into partnership. They do just want to come into partnership. They're showing me the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Cups. They just see you, Divine Feminine, as this Nine of Cups. It's beautiful pleasure pleasurable energy um just full of abundance just waiting waiting it's a beautiful nurturing energy yeah that they want to <laughs> it's ace of wands they want to come give you this ace of wands to find the feminine they do they want to come give you this because they see they see you're this queen of wands at the bottom of the deck they see yeah you are sexy and they they're just having a they were thinking that's like um you've got king of pentacles ace of swords like they were thinking like i this divine inspiration I'm going to like grow this abundance. I'm going to like, I'm going to, so like, they're just, they're just holding on to it. I feel like they've been holding on to this information, but there's like a new beginning coming. I feel, I feel the bunnies ascending in this crown right here. I feel there's a new, new information, new beginning coming. And this maybe it has to do with, uh, 
just these messages right here. I've got this four of cups. Yeah, like somebody thought that like maybe you were too good to be true, divine feminine. Maybe they thought you were good, good to be true. Queen of pentacles. Yeah, just all up in your beautiful earth, earth goddess energy, right? Too good to be true. Like a, like a, a blessing. If I'm hearing a blessing on this earth, this is a wish fulfillment and they wanting to bring you this cup of love. They really do. This nine of cups. Um, if they haven't said anything yet, they're going to. Y'all are both connected to the Milky Way. Y'all are both connected to these beautiful star seed lines. Maybe they're sending you messages through the stars. Maybe they're sending you messages through dreams, um, through astral. They might be really lovely messages. I'm actually feeling quite lovely now. So perhaps when you guys are connected in astral, it's a very blissful experience. Very, mm, very passionate because that felt, I felt that uh, root chakra <laughs> right there. They're very passionate, so there's like a sacral thing going on too. Um, this could be fiery. I see Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like Divine Feminine, you're just really in this Queen of Swords energy. And um, and maybe just cut off any sort of access like a little bit. Maybe there was, um, again, it was a burden, like something was a burden. Um, and then just, just, uh, just protective. I feel like, um, I feel like Divine Feminine is kind of protective of your energy. And you think you might be a little intimidating. You know, we've got the Queen of Swords and the, the Page of Swords. We've, you know, like the king can sit here and grow his money and he's feeling pretty good about that, right? But the coming forward is like the Page of Swords or like the Knight of Cups, like um, just not quite as um, it's nervous. It's a nervous energy. It's nervous. They're nervous to um, to offer you this cup. Maybe nervous to say, um, gosh, this is... This is, this is too much. This is enough. Like, this is the one. This is the one. There might be still some death processes to go to, go through, um, right here. Again, I, I did, I did feel that, but they're showing me the bottom of the deck for six of wands that this, this is going to be a success. Like, they really want the six of wands with you. They might have been feeling a little hanged man. Um, maybe has to do with this nervousness because they see you're this empress, right? They see you're this empress, they see you're this empress, and I feel like they're feeling, like, dejected about this. They're feeling dejected, like, um, like, maybe you don't want them anymore. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. Really, like, really, this is it. This is it. This is the chalice. This is the ace of cups. This is the new beginning in love. This is it. This is it. Um, definitely, I do not think the divine feminine would ever... Um, now, there's always a time and a place. If I'm feeling like this is kind of a newer energy, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel narcissistic. This is definitely divine partnership energy. Like, so definitely they want this, definitely they want this cup of love. Definitely they want this beautiful new beginning. They're showing me the lotus blossoms on the pond. And we've got like the water star vibes. I don't know if you guys watch her. That's, that's always what the, I love the nymphaea because you know, it's like a water star. It's a water lily. It's the water star. And then she has that Water Star Vibe channel. I love her channel, but I love the uh, symbology behind it. Honestly, with the, the her channel name, that's what I love so much. Um, this is symbology behind it. So it's these these water lilies. It's the water stars, and this is my nymphaea. It's my favorite flower. It's the stars of the water, right? And you're in all this emotion. You're like in the water, right? And you have to come up out of the water to the higher world. So it's like a coming up. Oh, they're, they're showing the rebirth. The coming up out of the water, and it's kind of like a baptism too. Like it's a rebirth. And, and then the, the uh, birds are bringing in coins. They're bringing in abundance. So this is the like rebirth and abundance. And look at all the flowers blossoming. So this is definitely rebirth and abundance. This is Ostara energy. Somebody might still be feel, moving away. Like, um, might be feeling, this is, could be moving away physically. This could be feeling like moving away energetically. Oh, I'm feeling it's like a cutting off of the karmic cycles, you know, and I, that's the death process because I'm seeing the death here and I'm seeing the queen of swords, the queen and king of swords, the queen and king of swords, the death processes and the walking away, like the moving away from those energies, the swords, you know, taking your swords with you and um, taking your information with you and uh, wanting to move forward with this. Yeah, really just wanting to go on a journey, go on a journey with you. Um, this is, there's a judgment that's happening right now. There's a judgment that's happening for this divine partnership. And I really think this judgment is love is what I'm seeing here. So the ace of cups, like this judgment is love. So there's really nothing to worry about here. Um, this is going to be a beautiful blessed partnership. There might be a lot of like energy is coming out 
um, you both right now because I was feeling divine feminine, but this could be um, divine masculine. This is, I'm feeling like this incoming communication. This like, this could be like a lot of communication. There might've been already a lot of communication. There's more communication incoming. Um, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of passion between you both. A lot of passion. And I think maybe when, and when the partnership is so passionate, when there's so much attraction when there's so much um, energy between two like you think about two star seeds coming together two divine beings this has to be more powerful than the relationship from before right so this might be a little overwhelming it might be overwhelming the system and there might be like a temptation to um to run away there might be like a temptation to stay within karmic cycles as uh, what they're telling me there might be a temptation but i'm really feeling it's like this like there might be a temptation to the moon so i really feel that uh, divine feminine is just crazy tempted by you uh divine masculine is crazy tempted by you divine feminine um crazy tempted by you they're really definitely just wanting this core of wands that's what they want with you um so if you were wondering that's 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 the gist of it that's the gist of it they want this five of pentacles to stop they want an end to this uh, they want to flip that up and bring in this new love with this four of wands. And that is a beautiful, incredible message. I'm like super happy, super happy with this message, you guys. So this was lovely. 2323, uh, 2332 three, two is actually what I saw on the uh, thing. 2332. Three, three, two. I've been reading for quite a while again. So um, please let me know how this resonates, you guys. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. Um, my soul family, Star Me. I'm sending you so much light and love. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, your subscriptions, your donations, your purchasing a personal reading. It ever means ever so much for me. So I'm ever so grateful for you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I'm sending you guys so much light and love. And I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group three. If you choose card number three, you chose this beautiful Ethiopian opal card with the lovely unicorn and pegasus on it and the moon. This is a fertile ground, pegasus, unicorn energy, rainbow child. We're gonna get some charms for you as well. Group number three. Thank you so much, Ostaya. What messages do you have? I've got the little elephant of string. We've got the Christy Cross with the turquoise inlay. So this is a, a healer, a healer of the ages. We've got this little mermaid and she's looking, um, looking away. We have a little apple. We have the apple. We have a little kitty cat for magic intuition and dependence. We have the hands of sign, divinely protected, divinely protected. And we've got this rebirth and abundance and renewal coming with this apple. I feel like there's a healing. There's some healing that's happening here. I'm going to go ahead and tap in to the energies for your messages, group number three from Ostara. Group number three, um, Ostara is showing me this, um, this uh, tetrahedron. Is it a tetrahedron? Yes, a tetrahedron. And when you mix them together, it's like a star tetrahedron. But right now, this is just a tetrahedron. So it's it's spinning. Um, a tetrahedron that's spinning. There's some crystalline light. Crystalline light. So I feel that it's like you're within this changing chamber of light right now. So something is happening. Something is transforming. What else do you have for me? Oh, sorry, I took my, took my hands apart. Okay, it's going to the sun is what she's saying. So I'm seeing these sun energies coming in. So it's like, okay, so it's like you're in a spaceship. So I said the, the decahedron, but we've, we're going to go with it. It's like a Merkaba, right? So you're in your little spaceship. You're in your Merkaba. You're in the, this vessel. So you're protected from the outside energies, right? But there's stuff happening around you. So there's energies happening around you. And I see it's like you're, you're like moving towards the sun. So you're moving towards this abundance, moving timelines. Uh, Maya was just confirming with her barks. I hope she doesn't bark again. Maya? No, ma'am. There's a little doggy off in the distance that's whining. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Sorry about that. My my dog actually um, took out the light. So what I was saying is I hear a little doggy uh, crying in the distance. So there's like a little dog that's crying. So somebody's, I feel like you can hear, maybe you can hear someone crying out for you. This could be somebody sending you energy. Um, okay, so yes, I feel like, okay, so this is, so you can take this how it resonates, but for some of you, someone is calling to you. This could be soul family, star family. A lot of you, this is the divine partnerships because we've got a star here. We've got our twin candles here. 
with these divine counterparts coming together, but I do feel like the divine feminine is like in her Merkaba making her way to the sun. It did feel like a tunnel, like it was a quantum tunnel. But yeah, that's what Osara is showing me. It's a quantum travel. So this is a quantum traveling to the right partner. This is quantum traveling to this divine partnership. This is one with the Christic healing light. And I feel like she's looking away. So she's doing some healing right now. The divine feminine is doing some healing. They could both be doing healing if this is a mirroring, but this is divinely protected. So have strength in this moment because it's taking you to renewal and rebirth. Uh, this unicorn, Pegasus unicorn energy, this is a very highly psychic connection. And I said I felt like somebody was sending you um, energy. So somebody's crying out for you. Someone's crying out for you. And then Maya could hear it. And then she was like, um, she really wanted to answer. She really wanted to answer, but then I wouldn't let her. So maybe something's blocking them from answering you. Ace of Swords, yeah, communication, right? New communication about love. Like somebody's, oh, somebody's pining for you, right? Somebody's, uh, somebody's really wanting to offer you this love. This is a new love. It feels innocent. It feels really sweet. They're wanting to give you, maybe there's new information or new, new communication coming in. Eight of Pentacles, somebody's working really hard at this. Working really hard at, at communicating. Let's to clarify. Yeah, oh, sorry, I flipped out a couple. Yes, communicating that uh, they might have been confused. Maybe they were confused and they thought this was uh, too good to be true. Maybe there was some sort of uh, deception. There was some sort of trickery. There was something that was clouding their eyes, possibly, or they couldn't see you. Um, justice. This is justice for this. Maybe, maybe they had so many options they couldn't see you. They're working really hard at coming forward to communication. Let's go ahead and clarify. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles for me again. A star, Emperor. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Well, okay. Four of them and, uh, came out. So the Eight of Pentacles clarified by Hierophant. I said the Hierophant, but it's the Emperor. Oh my gosh, you guys. So it's the Emperor. The Emperor. I said the Hierophant. So maybe they're working at um, more spiritual mastery or... Um, or union. Again, if this is a divine union, again, this is love. Six of Pentacles. They're definitely working on growing their abundance enough to share. There's communication coming in. It has to do with this love. They're either working, they're working on. Okay, so they've got like control. They've got some control issues, possibly. <laughs> this emperor, it's the emperor, right? So it's the emperor. So why would he ever have to do anything? Everything just comes to him. Like everybody just, so maybe he's feeling a little out of control. Like maybe, maybe it was like too good to be true. Um, there's been justice added for this. There could have been some sort of karma that was dealt out that made him work hard. I'm not sure. Let me, let me clarify here. Page of Swords. There's some new information that came in. This is all clarifiers for the Eight of Pentacles. No, these are all clarifiers for the Eight of Pentacles. Here we go. Eight of Pentacles. Working really hard at... He wants to have enough abundance to share with you, Divine Feminine. Literally wants to be able to take care of you. I think he sees that you're like an empress. He's an emperor. You're an empress. He wants to be able to offer you a good offer of love. Maybe that's why this communication, if there is communication that's uh, that's coming in, either, either he is communicating or he's not communicating. Um, there's been little communication. There's been little communication. There's been little communication, but this big amount of communication should be coming in soon. There's been some new information that's come in for him. No, man, Luna. Yeah, she said there's been some new information that's come in. Definitely. Um, definitely some new information that's come in. Now, this, if for those of you not going to divine partnership, this would be uh, some new information that's come in for you that's helped you to choose between this wish fulfillment, to help you to choose to find the right uh, so to find exactly which cup it was that you were actually looking for. You might've been working really hard for this. And this is you stepping up into your sovereignty. There's going to be, uh, you might be sharing some new information actually. And yet this sharing would have to do with you sharing your love with the world. Like you'd have this cup of love to share with the world. And of course this could be just this uh, overwhelming new path, um, a new path of, it's a new path of love. This could be you sharing it with the world or this is you going to love. If you're sharing this with the world, this will be sharing yeah, it's just like the sharing. You want to share your abundance. Maybe you'll make a lot of money from um, whatever it is that you're doing to share with the world. And this will be something that you're able to share to elevate the collective still, which is why you're able to come into this abundance. I've got the King of Wands and the Sunrise. 
So I'm feeling the Divine Masculine here. I mean, of course, we've got the King of Wands and the Sunrise. And it's funny because I saw the Sunrise came in in reverse in the beginning. But I'm hearing the Sun will rise. So this is the King of Wands, like, um, very passionate, fiery, maybe not really, so maybe, maybe a little bit wearing a mask. Um, it may be used to, um, not really, not really, uh, stable pursuits with the divine feminine right so like maybe there were maybe they were like players or something like that maybe they just it was just you know the passion the moment like not sort of the type to like actually settle down um and then like maybe they saw you divine feminine and you just like took their breath away because i've been hearing that a lot the whole taking the breath away and like look at here i see it again and it's like um they feel like it's like a cup that was given to them like the wish fulfillment like is this the one is this wish fulfillment but they're then like they're wondering is this wish fulfillment? i feel like they're working really hard for it now and they felt really tied up in coming to you divine feminine for some of you guys they felt really tied up in coming to you you felt really tied up about this this could be a mirroring you could both be feeling tied up i feel like the sun is going to rise and it's going to the world so we've got the sun and the world together and it's going to be really passionate like like really, really passionate. Let's get some, yes, wish wisely, you're saying. Uh, oh, sorry, it says wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest. And this is fertile ground. So this is fertile ground for Ostara. So this is manifesting this relationships, manifesting this new, new reality. But for a lot of you, this is like a passionate creative pursuit. It's going to be a really passionate creative pursuit. And again, there's a lot of fire to move forward right now. But it might be having you feel like kind of emotional and maybe a little stuck in your head. Wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. So that's, I think this is what the divine masculine is doing um, or the divine feminine, both, you know, this could be a mirroring energy. This is an eight of pentacles. I do see them working really hard at this. These were all the cards we were pulling on the divine masculine. Let's see what the divine feminine is doing. Like we see here, this, the world right here. What is the divine feminine doing? And this, and again, if you're not going to divine partnership, this is just this, you take this, how it resonates within yourself. This could have be somebody, you know, this could be uh, within yourself with the combination of the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine within you. This is the Divine Feminine, the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands. Yeah, she's just the Queen of Cups. She's definitely definitely in her intuition about this. I think she, she probably knows a lot of what's going on. She probably can feel it, see it. Nine of Pentacles, she just got this abundance to grow. I feel like she's going to have all the options. Really, the Divine Feminine has all the options. This might be making the Divine Masculine a little jealous. This might actually, because I've got the King of Wands here, he might be jealous over the Divine Feminine. There might be a little jealousy. This might be, this might be causing some fear to come forward. This might be making them feel a little tied up. So for some of you, this, this will be the case. Um... Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands. The Divine Feminine is is really just setting off on this path. She's on the way there. She sees the two and she wants to put them together, right? So that's what the divine feminine is doing. And, and this could be, again, this could be the combining of the divine masculine and the divine feminine within you. If you are the divine feminine, this could be your path. It's just whatever your path is, you're setting off on that path. You're putting, you're putting one in, I'm hearing two and two together. So I was saying the one, one and one together, but you're putting two and two together. So it's like you're understanding things more. And also from that energy, I was seeing the two of wands and like another two of wands for like 11, 11. So these are twin flames coming together as well. So the divine feminine is very intuitive about this. She knows um, that this is like, she has all the options and like she's, she's choosing that path right now. This is like a choice. Um, what is this divine feminine choosing? The moon. Well, I think it's kind of a secret, isn't it? <laughs> what is she choosing? What is the, is she choosing herself? Yes, I think the divine feminine is choosing herself. She's staying in her divine feminine energy. So let's see, um, let's see something else. Can we clarify? Yes, that's, uh, as a, I guess, she's staying in her divine feminine energy and walking away from uh, karmic cycles, walking away from other other options and not even options, other energies that were not the best influence do you see this like it feels kind of depressive like it feels like it weighs you down oh, so that's what this divine feminine is doing she's moving away 
um, from these these energies, moving away from these energies. What's the Divine Masculine doing? I, I see that he wants to offer this cup of love. What's he doing right now? Like, what's going on with him? We have, yeah, he's just looking at coming to you, Divine Feminine, and he's just looking at coming to you. How can he get there? Making a plan. Um, you know, if they were close to you, they're still, they're just still kind of like strategizing and making a way. I also feel like, oof, I don't even want to say that, but we do have the three here. So like, it's possible, um, that they could be like needing to walk away from something as well. If there was any sort of karmic relationship there, let's clarify that queen of wands for me. Clarify the queen of wands for me, Ostara. Five of cups. They're feeling, oh gosh, they're just feeling uh, bereft without you divine feminine they're feeling bereft all they want is this four of wands right that's that's what they're doing they're just gazing at it that's all they want they're just like lost without you and i feel like there might be a little afraid uh, they could have some pain from the past this could be past heartbreak maybe they're like looking because they're like afraid they're like and again for some of them it could be leaving karmic relationships because we've got the three here and like the loss like the hurt and betrayal and seeing uh, the four of wands on the other side so that uh, that's a lovely message I am not sure how I got into divine partnership readings on this one for the whole practically the whole reading you guys but take that how it resonates apparently that's what wanted to come through again this would be the combining of the divine masculine and the divine feminine within you or the your relationship coming becoming better so you guys need to rest and recharge right now rest and recharge because i think you've just gone through a lot of energies like there's been a lot of upheaval it was like ostara of the of the dawn right but like it was a storm that came it was a storm and right now it's beautiful outside there's actually supposed to be a powerful storm happening right now and you know what you guys the birds are singing the birds are singing and uh, there is not a there's not a raindrop in the sky. Magic mirror. I feel like this uh, this person is going to be your mirror. Um, and again, you might have been using... Uh, I'm feeling a manifestation. So there could be some mirror magic here as well. Um, or manifestation magic that's happening. It's okay, Miss Muna. Let's not bark at them. Yes, we've got a dog. we got a dog barking in the distance. So that's definitely some manifestation magic. It's some mirror magic that's been happening here. Follow your intuition to know then know that you know what's going on. I want you to follow your intuition, divine feminine, divine masculine, that you know what's going on, okay? You might, somebody might be going down the rabbit hole. Maybe somebody already did. I feel um, so maybe someone already did, maybe uh, somebody will in the future, but I've got this in the past and I know I just did the whole down the rabbit hole thing. So that, okay guys, I'm so sorry about that. So yeah, there was a lot of dog barking there. Um, the dogs all went off. So there's definitely a whole bunch of, um, there was, I felt like, again, I was talking about the going down the rabbit hole, um, going down the rabbit hole, like was really hurtful. Like, so I think, again, this could be a marrying. It could have been hurtful for both of you. I know I was in a whew, energy. I definitely felt, I definitely felt this five of cups at quite a few different times. Um, so, so I want you to know that this is, again, that this is the energy that you're going to, four of wands. This is definitely what the divine masculine wants. This is definitely, um, definitely, I'm not, can't, can't say that's definitely what the divine feminine wants. I'd, I'd say that's definitely what the divine feminine wants. I'm sure the divine feminine wants that, that four of wands. I'm sure that's what they're wanting, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, right? We want that Ten of Cups energy. Six of Wands, victory. The Divine Feminine just wants victory. This is like a promise of victory. This is a promise of victory with this love. And if it's like a new love offer, like if it's like a, a timid love offer, like it's like I'm feeling, but it's just, it's a promise of victory. Um, if you had to go down the rabbit hole, it might have been, again, hurtful, uh, but it's looking at going there now. Follow your intuition. Follow the magic. And again, that's what I was saying. It was the Ten of Cups because it's, it's taking you to this Ten of Cups. That's what the Divine Feminine sees. That should be what the Divine divine Masculine sees in this Four of Wands. Divine Feminine sees in this Ten of Cups. So this is definitely what the Divine Feminine wants, victory in this Ten of Cups. Um, some people are doing a little bit of magical stuff. They're showing me the bottom of the deck of Temperance. Just have patience. Have patience with this process. You guys are going through there, showing me the bottom of the deck again with the Queen of Wands because uh, they see you as this uh, this very sexy, intuitive, um, stable, emotional lover. So it's definitely twin partnership energy and they're feeling really a little distraught over this. Like if it's been, I think it's been really like eating at them um, and I don't know why exactly. I, I feel like, um, I, if I try to just relate this all to me, I do feel like it had to do with this five of cups energy, right? This is like a distract and like over the, the moon, right? Over the divine feminine. 
we got the moon here twice. It's just a confirmation. We've got Luna Lopin. We've got the little bunny, the bunny rabbit, the moon rabbit, right? So we've got that beautiful moon rabbit energy, nine of swords over the moon rabbit. And the, um, and then again, this is a mirroring. If there's just some sort of mystery here. There might've been something that was hidden. That might be what caused, what caused the uh, nine of swords energy. And I was saying, I was saying 10 of swords earlier, right? That I saw on the thing. I think that might be what caused the nine of swords energy. Some sort something where something was hidden. Um, and that was, uh, so we're spinning the wheel of fortune now. And I do feel, again, this was coming up out of karmic cycles. So it could have had to do with something that had to do with karmic cycles and having to do with this death process of letting go of those. Uh, but this is going to the stars. See, this is it. Because you guys are the stars. You guys are these stars. And it's judgment for these energies. Judgment for these energies. It's taking you to the four of wands and the ten of cups because it's taking you out of this ten of swords energy. Like I said, that was too much. That was enough, right? Because that was... Uh, end of that <laughs> done with that because it definitely left everybody out in the cold it's leaving everybody out in the cold to feel cold uh, the ten of swords whatever was happening over here like it was just too much right it was just too much so there was a there was a change there's a change like a rebirth that's happening there's a lot of healing that's happening it's the aquarius energy they wanted me to get a few um dice so i'll do that for you guys let me check the time i have no idea all of these readings have been really long and rather specific you guys let me know how they resonate they i do feel like they're very specific readings so again please let me know how they resonate I've got the moon and the Gemini. So we've got uh, the moon and the Gemini sign. Moon and the Gemini. These are my signs, y'all. So I've got, <laughs> I've got the, uh, so we've got the North Node, North Node and the, uh, and this is Virgo energy. So we've got some Virgo energy, North Node. So following your North Node. This is again, following your North Node. Taurus, I've got some Taurus energy and I've got some Saturn. So I think we were doing some structures, some Saturnian influences, and there could have been some structure that came down in place. Again, like I said, like the Ten of Swords, like it was, it was like a, I did feel like it was a restructuring. It was like kind of like enough of that and then a restructuring within ourselves, like some alchemy. And then I've got Uranus here. So this is great change. This is great change. Uh, and then this is going to be, um, this is this is directed by the Council of Light. This is directed by the angels. They're the ones that are helping with this right now. They're the ones that's bringing this together. Because you are these chosen ones. You are these star seeds that are coming together. Yeah, I got some beautiful Pluto energy here. So again, we've got the like, death and rebirth. And then we've got Gemini again. Let's see if we get any more signs here. Taurus is showing up again. Uh, Aquarius, of course. We've got Aquarius, the star. Sagittarius, we've got some Sagittarius energy, and we've got Taurus again. Taurus is very prominent here. Taurus, you just came up four times, four, 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 Taurus. And then we've got uh, Leo, we've got some Leo energy, and that's what I was saying, they're royal star seeds. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I started at the bottom of the deck with the Jupiter. Y'all, y'all, my dog was just trying to get up in the chair, and then she just freaked herself out on this sword and then jumped back down. So she's all jumpy now, but I'll just let you know that's what just happened. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely, I feel like there's some, lo there's definitely loyalty here. There's a lot of loyalty here, um, a lot of loyalty with between these partners, a lot of loyalty. Something might have been really surprising. I think somebody did, was, a lot of this was unexpected. Um, a lot of this was unexpected, and that's that's understandable. And that might be why it became a little bit overwhelming. Like it was just unexpected and so so powerful all at once that it might have just kind of been overwhelming to both of your senses. So that's just the um, the message that they're giving me right now. They want me to get Spirit of the Animals Oracle just to leave you guys out here. Are we burning our flower just a tiny bit? We are. Let's move that over. Just saw some smoke coming up. So we don't want to burn our flower, you guys. We definitely want that flower to be nice and healthy and rejuvenated. We definitely, <laughs> we definitely want to send our flowers the right energy, right? So we've got Heron and Patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently forward towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. So this is just a beautiful call for both of you, but I've got that Heron energy, you know, and I'm feeling Thoth. I'm feeling Thoth here, energy here as well. And in, in fact, this is, this is exactly what I did um, over the last few days. I spent so much time outside just laying on a blanket, just laying on the ground like it was my bed because it is literally the best bed in the world. <laughs> I, also, I also had a very magical experience um, at my local park. So this is a horse for freedom. 
Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. And again, I was saying this is all about change. This is all about change. This is all about these lovers coming together to this Ten of Cups and this partnership. So follow your intuition. Follow your intuition and have patience. Times It's time to rest and recharge. I know there's a lot going on. They're showing me the bottom of the deck with the Polar Bear Mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest and dream and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. So this is just a beautiful call to show you guys are both these mystics. You know, you're both, again, I said it was a very psychically connected connection. This is a very psychically connected to connect connected connection with your psychic abilities and I think literally with the psychic abilities that might be what made it so much more intense and so uh, a little overwhelming again that was just a bit overwhelming so it was it was because of these psychic abilities because of your psychic connection that made it so much more powerful and just like and again it, I said it was like a surprise it kind of came out of the blue and I'm surprised uh, poor Muna there so um my little my little moon spirit doggy my loyal one. So yeah, that's, I hope this uh, I hope this resonated with you. It seems like a very very specific message. So um, I understand if it didn't resonate with you, please find another reading. Again, if it didn't resonate, hopefully you guys left long before now. But I'm sending you guys so much light and love. Let me know how it resonates. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. And thank you so much for all your likes, your subscriptions, your shares, your comments. Um, donating to my channel or purchasing a personal reading because it means so much to me to help me support uh, to support me as I grow. I'm ever so grateful for you guys. I'm sending you so much light and love and I'll talk to you soon.